Hey guys, what's up? Today I got a pretty interesting package in the mail. It is some LED headlights. It looks like a company called Oedro. Oedro. Looks pretty nice. Alright, so let's look at the box here. It's a very nice package. I got the H13 because that's what I need for my truck. Okay, so it comes in wrapped pretty nicely. It looks like they give you an Allen wrench. Probably for adjusting the light beam, I think. It looks like some films. I think these are to go around the bulbs to change the color. Um, there should be a yellow and a blue. Yep, there is. Well, that's pretty cool. So if you really wanted a yellow or a blue, um, you could really make that. I think maybe we'll try it out and see what that looks like. But I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep it stock. It looks like he's got a product manual here. Everything's very nice. And here are the bulbs. So these are actually, uh, H13 is actually a dual beam. It's a high beam and a low beam. So these actually have a separate LED, as you can see right there. So here's what they look like up close. Very nice quality. Uh, these are without a fan, so that's very nice because fans fail pretty easily. Okay, so it looks like there's dual beam on, on each side here, so that's nice. All right, guys, so we're in my garage. Well, kind of like a garage. Uh, anyways, uh, these bulbs are going to go on this Ford F-150 right here. It's a pretty nice truck, but the bulbs here are very yellow and not so bright at night. So we're going to install these Edro bulbs and hopefully we can get some better light output out of this truck so anyways I'm kind of excited to see what that's gonna look like maybe if that looks good maybe we'll upgrade these fog lights too alright guys so looking at this truck it looks like I will have to take these bulbs uh, or these headlights off to uh, get to the bulb because that's the way this particular truck is so if you have a Ford F-150 like I do it's very simple you just take out the little Phillips clip and then you pull out one two three bolts and this thing should come right off oh wait hold on you gotta pull on the stuff here wait, anyways there we go so it's out and now you can reach to your bulbs real easy alright guys so I'm plugged all the plugs this is the plug to the headlight so and here it is so now you just get the old one out somehow. There we go. Turn it counterclockwise. And there's your stock bulb. Let's put this thing in there. However it goes. If I can figure out how it goes. Let's just turn it till it goes in. There we go. Wow, that fitment is perfect. Just look at that exactly the same wow that's impressive that's what I'm talking about when they make stuff they make it right where everything fits right and it's not too big and whatever so that's very important that's so cool so now we just plug this into our original socket and that's it it's good to go so and this heating is gonna have plenty of room to con uh, to uh, let the heat out so Alright, so the light is in and let's turn on the lights. Oh, I can see the difference already. Huge difference. Okay, that looks awesome. So you can really see the difference. Here's my other bulb. Yeah, it looks just yellow. And here's the new one. Wow, looks awesome. And the light output is um, very good. Look how bright that is. 
And here's the other one. Barely see it. So I would say this is very, very good. Usually, uh, back in the day, the LED bulbs are just not good enough. But this is amazing. It's perfect. It looks great. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, looking at the bulb, I can see that it's not completely straight up and down. So I will have to adjust the uh, um, the light pattern, I guess, on it. So, Alright guys, I just want to show this right quick. I took out the little bolt that was in here. And so where I needed to go is to this next hole. So I'm just going to turn this thing. If I can do it one-handed. Put the camera down here. Turn it to the next hole. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I basically came from here to here. So now it's exactly straight up and down to where I need it. Alright guys, so I'm going to put this yellow on one of these bulbs and show you what that looks like because I would definitely use yellow for my fog lights because I'd prefer that more than the, the whitey blue. But that's just me. But anyways, I'm going to... This is just a sticker actually, so... It just peels right off this film and then just goes around there. Okay, so I put the yellow sticker on. Well, looks pretty good, so now it's yellow. So I'm guessing it's going to be glowing yellow. <clears throat> but yeah, so let's install it on this side right here. And you guys can see what that yellow looks like. I can compare the stock compared to the yellow. Alright guys, so this is what the yellow looks like. It's very yellow. As you can see, there's the original and there's the yellow. So you can see the difference. It's quite a bit of a difference. So yeah, I can't imagine you would need this. You know, unless you're using it for fog lights. But hey, maybe for a show or something. Definitely cool. It looks awesome actually. Alright guys, so I got the blue film on there. Let's see what it looks like. Alright guys, so the blue film is on, and this is what it looks like. <clears throat> it's not a huge difference from the white, but you can definitely tell it's blue. So, that definitely probably looks a little bit illegal. This is the regular right here. So I'm definitely keeping it this color, because where I live, they're a little bit more strict about all this blue. But yeah, that's pretty cool if you wanted to have blue, you could. For whatever reason. But yeah, looks awesome. I'm gonna take the film off and put the headlight back in and then we can see what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like together. With the fog lights on and everything. Looks pretty good. So they seem to be very bright. Alright guys, so uh, in conclusion, I'm really starting to like these lights, especially the way they look, um, the color of them. They got a slight green tint to them, or something like that, at least on my truck that's what it shows. So, I don't know, they seem very high quality. So the high beam is good on this too. Anyways, um, yeah, so I definitely recommend these. And uh, if you want to pick some up, there's uh, links in the description for Amazon and other sources. But yeah, thanks for watching this video and uh, hope this helped you decide what kind of headlights to buy. I would definitely go for these. I bought other ones before and they were either too blue or not bright enough. These seem to be just right. So, Anyways, thanks for watching. See you later.